Or is this an urban myth? Is this an urban tale? I believe it's absolutely true. I've read it in several sources as fact, not as conjecture. So uh, these are resources that I use, and uh, I believe that they, the animals are here. So it's... you think that the ashes of Arnold the pig, Tramp the dog, and Benji the dog yeah. are buried with Frank N. in Forest, Forest Lawn, Lawn, Hollywood Hills? Yes, absolutely. This is a very bizarre story. Yeah. Do you think people are going to believe this? Because this All is they have a to do is crazy look it up. story. All they have to do is look it up. I'm not making the stuff up. Well, you've written a book about this. So yes, you I must, have. You must know what you're talking about. I hope so. Well, <laughs> now we're 0 and 3 or 0 and 5 if you count each individual animal because yes. we're not able, we so far have not been able to visit a single animal gravesite. That's true. But let's stand out of the way and once again pay our respects to Frank N., who is buried in Forest Lawn, and of course have a moment of silence for Tramp, for Benji, and for Arnold the Pig. May they all rest in peace. Okay, I am tired of striking out as far as visiting the actual grave sites of celebrity animal actors. So we have come to a place where I know we're going to be able to visit some celebrity animal grave sites. Ellen, explain to everybody exactly where we're standing right now. We are at the Los Angeles Pet Memorial Park in Calabasas. And a beautiful park it is. This park has been here for how long? Since uh, 1928. And you have how many pets buried here? Approximately 50,000. So people have been burying their pets here since the day this opened in 1928. Absolutely. Now out of the 50,000, how many of these pets are celebrity pets, well, would you guess? I can't tell you an exact number, but I would say that there's a large percentage because of course here we are in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Do you encourage us to seek them out? Do you want us just to wander around? Well, by all means, we'll come and we'll look at some of the ones that are very well known to the American public. Our first honest-to-goodness celebrity animal gravesite that is still intact. K-Bar, my faithful dog, Rudolph Valentino, owner. Now, Steve, this is exciting. We finally we found, a grave. found a grave site. But K-Bar himself was not a star, was he? Well, he was not an actor, but he was well known to the fans of Rudolph Valentino because he was always in pictures with him. He's a famous pet. So he was in a lot of pictures with Rudolph Valentino Rudolph and was Rose. famous as his pet. Correct. That's and absolutely. you have a great story about K-Bar. Yes, well interestingly enough, K-Bar actually passed away after Valentino had died. And of course that was back in the 20s when there was no tele not a lot of, uh, we didn't have cell phones and we didn't have yeah. all the wonderful electronic things that we have today. Uh, Valentino died in New York unexpectedly and at the exact moment that he died, we understand K-Bar set to howling and carrying on and making all kinds of a racket and the neighbors were complaining and everything. Back here in California. Back in 3,000 3, miles away. miles away, K-Bar sensed it. He at sensed the exact it moment. At the exact 3, moment. 3,000 miles away. That's, that's the story. And of course the people that were taking care of him couldn't understand why he was carrying on so, couldn't calm him down, and eventually the telegram came hours later that, you know, Mr. Valentino had passed on. put it all on. together. They had you ever together. heard this story? That I had not heard, but I love it. I think it's a great story. Wow. I guess there are a lot of these kinds of stories, aren't yeah, there? Very interesting uh, California stories, basically. And, uh, of course, we've never seen K-Bar. We, we, we understand that there are rumors that K-Bar is here haunting the cemetery, but I can assure you all, we never see K-Bar. <laughs> Just his grave side. Just his grave, and, uh, and we're glad to have him here as one of our residents. We're walking up the hill to visit a obscure gravesite here under this tree, but a very important one. The stone says, Sally Pete Teddy, faithful pals of Ted and Ann Crawford. Now, I have no idea what that means, Steve, but this is a very important animal celebrity buried here. At least correct. one of the three is. At least one. Pete would be Petey from our gang, the Little Rascals comedies. The dog with the spot over his eye. Very famous movie dog. Petey? Petey. So now that's one, another one of these early 
yeah. celebrity dogs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And there's a story, a dark side about this story. Have you heard this? Yes, we have heard it. We can't verify it, but we have heard it. 